I know it is. We waited too for you. Well, let's start with the disclaimers, coaches. We're live and ready to attack. All right, so here's the thing. Tuesday, two days ago, we did one of the hardest workouts that made us super sore. So if you're finding this video right now and you don't, you don't know what we did on Tuesday, we um, are so sore that we cannot go super intense today. We're gonna kind of back off a little bit. We're gonna do lots of core. We're gonna do these super fast shred sets to get just enough for 36 minutes and then that's it. So 55 minutes tops. We're gonna move. We're not gonna worry about being super crazy because we did, so, we did a thousand reps on Tuesday, basically. We did a thousand reps two days ago and our bodies don't wanna move right now. Let's do our shoulder stretch. I love this shoulder stretch of the week. We're gonna do three stretches and we're gonna do core to warm us up. How about that? Our circuit to warm us up. So we're dealing with really tight Every time, quads. Everything. <laughs> Everything. Really tight, tight chest muscles. You cannot kill it back to back like that. And we would be bad trainers if we tried to run you through another super intense workout like that. Will you still get sweat? Absolutely. Will you still feel good? For sure. Uh, staying on one foot and then just swing it. My biceps too. Your biceps Very too? Very sore, yes. So lots of core. I'm talking like nine minutes for our warm up. So we're only gonna do one more stretch up here. Can you go side to side without falling over? We'll hit, like I'm thinking shoulders, some body weight, legs, just because you do wanna work out some of the soreness. But these uh, sets are really quick, so we're not gonna be doing like a ton of reps. We're just gonna keep moving it for five minutes straight. Other leg. Can I throw in one after this move? Do it. We gotta reset our hips too, because my hips were off from all those burpees. 100 burpees, it was a very wild workout. Other side. What's another one, Coach G? Okay, so just jump and just let everything be loose. <laughs> I mean, seriously, this is one of the most important neurological resets. You gotta just jump and feel like a rag doll. Like we're on a trampoline? Yeah, let your arms go to your side. And like literally just go plop. Plop, 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 plop. Can we exaggerate it? <laughs> exaggerate it, let go. No, like you're not actually moving your arms. Mine are just swinging around. Let them go. And, and twist. And shake it. Shake it. The lymphatic system is bouncing. Woo. Okay, that's good. Good? And then I want you to go like this. Bring your knee up, but push it down, but don't let it move. Ooh. And go side to side with it. A little contract your lats. It gets the neurological system going. So it's like you're pushing, but you're not letting it move. You're fighting against it. I can't even push. That's how sore my Yeah. <laughs> like you said, when you were doing the workout, you were like, it's not that bad. And then you get done and I mean, we shouldn't say it wasn't that bad. It was a good workout. You felt great. But when you walked out, I felt, wow, this isn't one that like burns yeah, out. Yeah, totally. Until yesterday when I woke up. And today, whoa. Take it to the flow. Well, that's what I was telling you because you get those breaks. 10 reps isn't a lot. Um, we're going right into a toe touch, big reach. I'm timing us, guys. We're going to keep moving for nine minutes for abs. Big reach. It lets you stretch. Come all the way up. Tap the toe. Ready? I'll tell you when to switch sides. Go for it. What we're gonna to try to do too with this core is uh, reset our hips and pelvis because all the up and down that we did two days ago, I could feel, I felt really tight in the lower back. Sometimes when you feel really tight, it's just because you're out of alignment. You feel like it's a torn muscle or a pulled muscle or a joint issue, let's go other side. So arms too, guys, I'm thinking, you know, let's stay with small body parts, shoulders for the first round. I would like to hit some biceps though, even though yours are really sore, coach. Okay. And triceps. 
I think our take home message is even though you're sore, you still have to do something the next day or two days later. Right? Right. So we still want to work. We still got to move. But we want to be mindful of how we're feeling. Good, that's good. We're gonna do knee tucks next. So you're just gonna be on your back, your knees come to your chest, you tap your heels, and then you pull your butt off when your knees come to your chest. Your butt comes off the ground. Ready? Oh, sorry, I started. Yo, no, you're good. So uh, heel tap, knees to chest. You can go hands behind your head if you want. But that little like getting the hips off the ground when your knees come up, that's what gets you that. Lower abdominal work. This way the core is rocked out of the way. We got it done. We're warmed up when we're done with it. Then we can do a fast, I say 36 minute shred set. And then complete. One more. Good time, Russ. I say we go with the Skywalker. So our legs, we're gonna try to keep our legs as straight as we can. Lower back glued to the floor. Then we're gonna reach for the toe. Suck in, squeeze, reach. It's okay if you can't touch them. You just reach high. Ready? And begin. I can already feel my back really easy. See, I was just thinking Were the you? same thing. Yes. Isn't that funny? Bill, how about you? Hey. Yeah. Angie. Yes. Cheryl. Yep. So you activate the opposite muscle from what's tight. Ooh. Woo. Good. Well, you'll love this one. Some people think going on the knees for planks is easy, but when done right, watch how good it feels. We're gonna go feet together in the back here. So my feet are gonna get squeezed together. So I'm almost like, at a, I don't know what that is, like a triangle. And then on the knees, but see, you gotta be extended. So it's not like back here, extend it out here on the elbows. Squeeze your uh, cheeks, squeeze your heels, hold it, and then watch what we'll do. We have four minutes, by the way. We're gonna play for five more. And I think we're gonna hit dead bugs after this. These are like therapy core moves, but watch what happens. Okay, ready? Reach your right arm out, take it off the ground, hold it, stretch it. Don't let your hips fall to the side though. Keep them squared up, bring it back to center. Then you gotta re-engage. So you gotta squeeze your heels again, squeeze your cheeks, tuck. Left arm goes out straight, but don't swivel your hips. If you got a glass of water on your back, you don't want it to spill. Then you bring it back. You re-engage, you lock it in. Feet together, tuck and squeeze. You're slanted here though. Right arm. Bring it back now, y'all. Good move. Left arm. Back. What hurts for us is the turf. I'm on my mat. <laughs> See, Cheryl and I are on towel and mats. This turf is rough on your elbows. Switch. Right arm. We're just going to do one more right, one more left, and then. I think we should do the dead bug because it's pretty sweet when done right for a long time. Back. And it's a non-traditional core move. It'll give you something different. Lock it in again. Squeeze. You feel your stomach? Left arm. Back. 
Lock and squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. Not bad, right? Okay. What's sweet is though, I can already feel stuff releasing. Now watch this dead bug too. Boring, but watch what happens if you do it right. We're on our back. And you, you talk me through if I miss anything, D. 90 degree bend with the legs. We're gonna push our lower back into the ground. Now let's start off with just the legs. So just take the left leg straight out there. But your lower back has to stay glued to the floor the whole time. Because we have two and a half minutes and if we do this right, you're gonna feel your core. Bring it back. But what we're also doing though is, again, aligning everything. Right leg goes straight out. We're just starting with the lower limb before we mix in the opposite reach. Is your head resting on the ground? Mine is no, not. Mine is not either. Bring I, it back. I have to um, bring my head up in order to keep your lower back. And then just relax your neck. Now, left leg, but right arm goes back too. You might just want to put your other fingertips behind your head. Bring it back to center. You lock it in again. Left arm goes back, but right leg goes out straight. Lower back is always glued to the floor though. That's the key. If it starts coming up, you're not gonna feel that engagement. Bring it back. We're gonna play around for 90 more seconds. Uh, right arm back, left leg out, straight. Big reach too here. Lower back on the floor, big reach. Good stretch here. Bring it back now. You can start to feel it. See, that's what I'm saying, yo. Other side, left arm back, right arm straight. This is what we call prehab. Knees are not, or the other knee is 90. Bring it back to center. Right here, even when you're in center, if your lower back scoots to the floor, you lock it in like the dead bug. You got it, we got 30 seconds. So right arm back, left leg up. Good stretch. Ooh. Bring it back to center, squeeze. Everything strong, I'm pushing my lower back to the floor. Left arm goes back, right arm, le or right leg goes straight. Back to center, squeeze it for 10. Hold it. That is good. I feel like I can work out now. Uh, I'm loose. No lie, man. My lower back is released. My hamstrings feel loose. All right. Let's do some good fast movement. It's 15 seconds. It's two moves. It's back and forth. Seven rounds each. So it's five minutes. And what we'll do is we'll do shoulders, because we didn't do a lot of shoulders the other day, so that's okay. And we will do body weight squats. It'll loosen us up. It won't be anything intense, and we can move fast with it. All right, for your shoulders, I would love to do piston press. So one at a time. I'd love to start there. It's 15 seconds. Now it takes people uh, a set or two to figure out that that's a faster speed for 15 seconds. So it's not a typical speed. You get as many as you can. And then it's this quick five second drop into squats. We will go seven rounds each, superset style. That's why we call it the shred set. Actually, it's 16. I'm sorry. It's eight rounds each. All right, you guys get your dumbbells ready. I'm going to hit this timer. Five second countdown. You ready? Piston, press, in, go. So it's only 15 seconds. Just enough. We're going hammer style. We're stopping the elbows from dropping below 90. Already five seconds left. Good. You drop them. We're going right into body weight squat set. Go for it. You can go as fast as you want. Control your tap. Maybe start out shorter on the way on the warm up here. Seriously. Progress down lower. And One more. Good. Grab those dumbbells. <laughs> Guys, I love this because it's real life, it's real workouts, it's real people. Go. We're not lying to people. 
we're so, if anyone comes across this for the first time, they could be like, look at these babies. Why are they so Already time, good. We're going back to squats. Ready? Go. You guys can't hear the timer at home, but just stay with us. It's legit. He isn't teasing us today. Three, two, one, good. And if you feel great, like if you didn't work out with us on Tuesday and you want to jump, go. You can jump on those squats. Five seconds. Seesaw press. It's kind of like a seesaw. Drop them. So if you feel like going intense, you can add little jump squats. We might, as we feel good. Halfway. Two. Last one. Good. We're on round seven already. Dumbbells ready. Go. Already killing these. Start to add up. Three, two, one. Isn't that funny? Awesome. Squats. Go. Because <clears throat> I was like, oh, I might start doing doubles, but you can already feel. We're on. Round eight. So this will be our halfway point when we're done. One more. Good. So we're halfway. Four more sets each. Go. Keep your core tight. Stand tall. Squeeze your stomach. Three, two, one more. Good. <clears throat> Ready? Go. Now that you feel good, you can keep the speed up. Five. And good. Round 11. Up safely. Hit it. Whoa, three, two, one, go. Round number 12, guys. Go. Keep it quick, five seconds. And nice. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Three more each. Go. Yes. I love the sticking points. Round 14. Go. Five, three, two, one. All right, so two more sets each. We call them the max out rounds. Go. You can do anything for 15. Last two. Whoa. Got it. Ready, set. Hit it. Five seconds. And good, we got one more set each, really quick. Oh no, that was 16. I was gonna say, whoa, yeah. Yeah. My bad. Oh, we're done. Yeah, we're done, I was thinking 18. <laughs> 16, duh, eight each. Fast water break, round two. Let's do, can we do curls? Yep, yeah. Um, bands. 
And it's the one where our hands are gonna be together, and then we go. So see how my hands, we call it close grip curl. Hands stay tight. Because we can go really fast, we jump out of the band, and we'll do that shuffle touch, jump and touch, or shuffle touch for our cardio. That's Bill's move. For body weight. Bill's Good choice, Bill. Bill's choice. Are you ready? Get set. We're keeping our body moving. It's shred sets. And let's go fast. Close grip. My knuckles. I should get hit in the face by my band. Oh, you did? <laughs> knuckles are together. I'm going to try dumbbells, but mine might be just too heavy. I'm going to try them next. Drop it like it's hot. Quick switch. Low, little shuffle, and tap. Or jump. Spider Man jump. And tap. Good athletic stance. Five seconds. Last one. Good. That one's gonna get rough, bro. Whoa. Yeah. I'm gonna try dumbbells. Same, because I feel like I can't get into my band that quick. <laughs> so, much harder, but I like it. I like it. It's gonna take a lot of energy. We're back to Spider-Man jump. I'll have to say it again. Go that. Guys, when you use five pounds heavier dumbbells, it makes a big difference. You're using a lot more energy to lift them. Great strength endurance. Good. Means you burn calories and you burn more fat. Go for it. Yeah, it's a hard one to transition. Core tight. G, you got the band? I got the band. Phil, you got the band? Yep. Good. We got dumbbells. Either one works. Whatever one's harder or better. Ready? Hit it. And if you can't jump, you can just sidestep. Stay low. Duck walk on the shuffle. Woo! Fast transitions. Right into it, watch your lifts. Go. Watch your back too. When they're close together, it takes a lot on your core. When you come down, ah, good. You keep that as fast as you can on those 15 seconds. Go. As soon as you hit, you go. Five seconds. Good. Halfway. Am I adding right? Yeah. Hit it. Get more. Get more. Get more. I love it. Go. This one's hard to get up from. This one's hard to get back to us, Colonel. You got the jump today, Coach Hans. You see that? Not thinking about it. Last time she was doing the stand. Time. Ah. Go. Hard to breathe. Come on, get one more. Good. Round 12. Get it. Basically, these rounds are five minutes straight. 15 seconds keeps you moving without overdoing it. Last one. It keeps you in the game. Curl. Go. Core tight. Brace your back. They're getting heavy. Time, switch. One, two, three, four. Four left, two each. Go. No, after this. Oh my gosh, why am I losing track? 
I keep thinking we're going to nine or 18. After this, it's one more each. Two, one. Last set of curls. Go. Come on, get five more. Get four more. Three more. Two more. One more. Got it. Last set of shuffles. Go. Spider-Man jump. Get distance. Halfway. Three, two, time. Woo! Good. Good place. What are we doing next? I want to do triceps. I want to do triceps. It's got to be a fast transition though, guys. So, that and that, or that and that. Mm -hmm. Like the first one? All right. You yeah, like the first one. Let's do this. Let's try it. We'll go like this. Cross bodies. I love these. More core work, cardio, lots of energy. Jump, stick. So I bring the knee across, jump and stick. Jump and stick. Wait, let me show you. It's coming across my body. Woo! We're right there for the lift and kneeling tricep. So we can transition quick. And then we'll put it back down, do it again. If the dumbbells aren't feeling hard enough, we'll figure it out. Might have to go into dips or close, good close up. We'll see, might add up. You're gonna love what I tell you after this circuit too. You ready? Cross, body, go. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Good. So, uh, transition. Dumbbell. Go. Oh no, these will get good. I can tell. Yeah. Three, yeah, two, awesome. one. Keep going. Keep going. Cross body. Good. Good. I know you got pants on, but just in case. That was hurting my knee. I gotta go really fast and catch up. Three, two, one. Right into the dumbbell. Set. Get it. So on the cross bodies, if you want to go really fast, you can rev it up. I like the stick for core, but if you want more cardio, go quick. I'm gonna switch every other round. Two, one, good. Back into it, right into it, because you don't need a rest, go. You see how we start to feel good and we're loose? Yeah. And now we can crank it. Five. And time, good. I love it. I love it. Hit it. It's so cool, man. How the movement. Three, two, one, good. Round number seven, we're back. So, go. A lot of spiritually enlightened people will say physical movement unlocks so much of the spiritual world. That's why you start to feel high right now after 30 minutes in. Endorphins are kicking, switch, sweat's coming. Mind feels good, go. When you give yourself a Charlie horse with the dumbbell, slammed it right into my quad. Ooh, ouch. Get more, get more, get more, one more. Oh man. Good. Adding up right into the high plank. Way to be fast. We are halfway, round nine. Knee to opposite elbow. 
five, three, two, one. I love it. Holding yourself keeps it hard on the triceps. Go. If you have super light dumbbells, you might need to put both together for a close grip, overhead, extension. Ah, got it. Ready. Let's go. Five. Good. How are you guys feeling? Getting good? Yeah, I'm yeah. dripping all of a sudden. Other one, I mean, okay. other one. Okay. I know. <laughs> Let it go behind your head. Don't tuck your chin. Three, two, one, good. I think I see, I think I see you at home starting to get that sticking point. You're on round 13. After this, one more each. Keep it good, keep it good. Faster, three, two, one. Let's go, we got, I keep messing up. <laughs> After this, one more each. Ooh. Three, get another one. Hallelujah. Oh. Now we got one more each. Crank it, let's go. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Three, two, one. All right, last one. Everything you got, guys. Make it good, and then I'll tell you the secret. Go. Uh. Sit tall, core tight. Five, three, get more. Two, get more. Ah. One, get more. Love it. Wow. Love it, bro. Hey, we went through our three shred sets and we did it in 18 minutes. Do you know what comes up? Uh-oh. Two minutes of play. We could. I mean, I don't know. We could do that later. We do them all over again. So every single one we go through again because we got just enough. And so now we're going to feel the effects because we're going to do it again. So you should feel a little bit more tired. That's what, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You felt it, G. You felt it, Jen. You felt it, Quint. And then I say those two-minute plank up challenges. If we can get to that. We're at 8.30 right here in Cleveland, Ohio. All right. We've got 20 to 22 minutes left of work. Let's crank it up. We got shoulder presses and bodyweight squats. 6, 12, 18 will put us. Yeah, let's do it. You guys get your dumbbells. Piston press. Go. Notice the difference second time around. Triceps are already lit, which means these are going to be legit. We drop them safely. We got bodyweight squats as fast as you want. And hit them. If you feel good, you go for it. Last one, good. Well, you guys know it's gonna go fast. Go! Last one's getting hard. Drop them like a side. Heels flat, your butt goes back. Heels stay glued to the floor. Good. Safely lift. Hit it. You can see I kind of start with like a seesaw press. It's like as soon as it drops, the other one's going. Piston could be separated more when you get tired and have to finish out. 
That's right now. Good. I love it, man. This time, Bob, you're up. Go for it. The second time around. Yeah. It's cool, though. We got shoulders, arms, triceps, a little bit of legs, a little bit of cardio, a little bit of core cardio. Wouldn't you agree? Great flush after yeah. what we did. Great flush. <laughs> we train at FMU. We don't work out. We train. Go. We think about how the workouts work together throughout the week so that it's on purpose. It's not just randomized all the time. Good. Sometimes you need a random workout, but it's got to be strategic still. Go. That's your trainer tip of the day. Five, fast, three, two, one, good. Ah, halfway, go. Can you march? Oh gosh. The knee drive, baby. Yeah. Add you stuff. I said you try it. What, TikTok? Yeah, there's a tape. We're still still recording. We have a new TikTok, TikTok coming your way sometime today. Wow. Yeah, Round 11. Thank you. <laughs> Go. Good knee drive up if you want. Well, we ended up doing it. In the workout, guys, oh, yeah. people were challenged. Ah, we're on round 12. Let's get 15. One every second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two. Right on time, Ooh. sort of. 15 and 15 seconds. Here we go. Safe lift. Ah, good. Round 14. 15, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, right on time. Five, four, three, two, one, right on time. Wow, we did it. One more each. Go. Three, two, good. Last 15 squats. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Fast 40 second break. You see the difference when you turn up a dial? Woo! That dial, a little notch. We got uh, curls, shuffle, Spider Man. I'm out of water, but if you got to drink it. We're going to go in 20. Close grip curl. You pick band or dumbbell. And then Spider-Man jump or a little shuffle step. You guys ready? Yep. Let's keep it moving. In five, four, ready. And go. Do you notice these also work, the pecs, the chest? Yeah. Because they're close grip. So you can feel it. And good. Shuffle step or Spider-Man jump. Go.
Good, good, good. Fast transition. If you can. I can't for some reason. What the heck? I'm only getting sixes. Ready. Go. Two more. One more. Good. Grab them and go. That one's hard to get out of. One more. Good. Hit it. Good job, Bill. Good job, G and Angie and Cheryl. Nice work in the house. Three. Good time. Grab them and go. One more. Oh my gosh. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Go. Good stance. Good jump or shuffle. Stay low. Hips back. Use those legs. Good. Oh my goodness, I'm halfway. Halfway. Oh Love it, right? Told you. That's what's cool about shred sets. You do them once, and then you do them twice. Hit it! Round 10, right here. You can do anything for 15, guys. Three, two, good. Grab and go. Go. Three more. Two more. One more. Whoa. Wow. Down. We're getting tough. Round 12. Two more. Last one. Go. Court tight. Brace your back. Good. Round number 14. Round number 14, guys. After this, one more each. Go for it. This is your intensity right here. Last one. Good. All right, one more each. Ready? Go. Got to get six. Four. Two. One. Good. Last shuffle. Set. Hit. Nice distance. Seven. Two more. One more. Time. Oh. So incredible. Wow. We get ready for our last one, cross bodies, triceps. And then we'll play. Oh, no, no, no. 
I want to play. I think I'm done. <laughs> this is fun enough. You can all tic tac. Next year. Are you ready? Let's drop it to the floor. Drop it like a top. Make it good. And then we'll see where we're at. You guys, five, four, set, and go. Cross bodies. Pop, 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 pop. Core tight, though. Core tight. Good. Triceps. Fast. Hit it. Core tight again. Stand tall. Kneel tall. I mean. Not bad yet. Three. And good. Here we go. Round number three. Set. Let's go. Five seconds. Good. So incredible. Set. Go. Watch when you guys lift it up, too. Nice work. Kneel tall. Last one. Back to cross bodies. And go. Five seconds. Nice. Quick transitions. Wow. Way to go at home. Go for Woo. it. It's like you can't stop, you know? Even though you want to. You don't have time to think. Right. Ooh. You're like, I could do it for 15. Switch. And then you're like, all right, I can go for you. And we just keep you going. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Round number eight, coming up. Set, hit it. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Go. So we're getting eleven. And go. We're halfway, guys. Three, two, one, and go. I'm switching that lead leg. <clears throat> So think about it, we're still getting 80 above reps. Too bad you don't have your heart rate monitor on today. I know. I can't find my strap. Oh no. Well, I haven't really looked for it. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Got it. Yes, it's getting harder. And <clears throat> go, round 11. Woo. Three, two, one. Keep it up, guys. Round 12. Go for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, round 13. You got it. Go for it. Squeeze your stomach. Knees to opposite elbow. Faster, faster. You only got three, two, one. Nailed it. Get it up there. Go for it.
Yes. Starting to hit failure. Round 15, we only got one more each. And then we might be done. Go. Three, two, one. Last set of this. Wow. Last set of this. Go. Five seconds. Five, two, Whoa. one. Good. good, 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 good. Let me see. Let me check. Let me check. Oh, oh yes. Let's do it. Two minute core challenge. Remember that. You want to do plank to ups? Plank ups? Or you want to do I don't know if I plank it. to roll over hollow to roll over plank and just keep going? Uh, so like we're not on our shoulders down. the whole time? I like that sound. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can do it on the first try. I think I can do it. Let's start in hollow. Plank up. Cool down time. Let's do the core cool down. We got two minutes. Told you guys, short, hard, and sweet. We did core at the beginning. We did fast, 36 minute stretch set. Do two minute core cool down, and then we're done. Start in a hollow crunch. That's where you're on your back. Legs are up about 12 inches. Lower back glued to the floor. Hold it. Slow down your breathing. Go. We're just gonna go from this right into a front plank, back and forth for two minutes. It's nothing crazy. It just lets us calm down, work some core while we do it for the cool down. Three, right into plank, fast. Now, what was sweet is we loosened up. So if you did that workout with us on Tuesday, we loosened up and we're gonna feel good. Five, four, you gotta go right in. It's a hollow crunch, right back into it. Go for it. Seven seconds, squeeze everything. Right into plank, go for it. We're one minute in, squeeze everything. Slowly breathing down. Five seconds. Be careful, be quick, right over. Back into it, go for it. All right, 90 seconds already, guys. Slow down your breathing. This is gonna be the last plank, ready? Roll over, hit it. This is it, that's all we can do. I wish we could do more. Just enough. Relax. 10 seconds. Wish we can go for two more minutes. Three, two, one, time. Oh my gosh. Next time we're going for four. Ooh. Hey, I wish we could do more. Woo! Listen, that's a good little flow. Um, Sorry. if you want to, when we sign off, you can do that for two more minutes. I gotta sign off, get ready for the next camp. Take your time. If you got a foam roller, massage, loosen up, drink lots of water. You guys that joined us, G, Quinn, Stan, you guys rock, as always. And we'll see you next time. Complete. Pow. Whoa. Woo. Love, That's what I'm talking about. Love working out with you guys. Perfect.